Greetings and welcome back to Machine Key. I'm Catherine of Sky and um, I apologize for the delay in the videos. I was waiting for a bug to be fixed. If you notice in the last episode, there was a bug that um, prevented the trains from making the choo-choo sound. And we really, really must have choo-choos. Um, as you can hear, we are no longer have stealth trains. <laughs> and I didn't want to go choo-choo. Choo, choo, the whole episode. So um, Jan fixed this bug super quick and thank you so very much Jan for, for fixing that because now we can play again with normal trains because we all love the choo-choo sound. Right now the next thing on our list to do is we have these tokens but we need steel. Steel is super important because it allows us to build other structures that require those tokens uh, and there's really no substitute for it. So we need to get that going. Now I've been scouting the map and the most lucrative spot would be probably to deliver these materials. We're going to need um, coal plus iron ore to make steel. If we click on the foundry here, it tells us the recipe three coal plus two iron makes one steel plus one coal token. So we're going to get a little bit back from this process in terms of coal, uh, which is very nice. So there are two steel meals here. There is a lovely tool works right here. So I'm thinking take this steel mill this way, this one that way possibly, or there's of course the other one where we have this really grand works out here working really well. But we also don't want to overload our factories. There is a small steel mill right around here. And I think that would be good for just to get us started off. Now, if we go into construction mode, we see there's a lot of mountains going on. So what we want to do is um, construct a track structure that's going to allow us to get all of these resources. We have our coal here. We've got the iron ore over here. So both of these need to go this way. Okay. And then there's a forest here and a sawmill over here. So we can take both... Um, the planks from the sawmill and the steel to the tool works. And that would be uh, really using that tool works to the best of our ability. Now, I think what's actually going to be best with this is to create a, um, like a partial clover leaf uh, thing because we're gonna have, we need the highway going this away and that away. So we're gonna do this uh, and lay it out real quick. Now, how do we want to, we probably want to put our station there and then get the lines coming this way. We're going to have to have a station for the sawmill on this side as well. So all kinds of things to think about. Hello, my Eleonora. That's my, that's the song of the Eleonora. Hello, my pet. Yes. I think she just brought an orange noodle. Um, and when I say noodle, I mean, I, um, I created these parts for cat toys and it's basically like a tube made out of uh, orange fleece. And I think she just brought that. She has stolen that part because I didn't actually give it to her. <laughs> she just found it. It's like, hey, this looks like a toy. And I'm like, it's not a toy yet, but still, she would not be dissuaded. Uh, anyway, all right, let's flatten this land here. I'm going to have at least um yeah four wide is okay i want to set our train station here ish and we're going to keep the game running because i have a feeling we're going to need some of this money uh to come rolling in here uh right let's get here we want to have at least one um square for a signal i think uh in case yeah we're gonna in case we have a tunnel and we might well have a tunnel uh, I think we'll put the track here. I'd like to do something like this. No. Okay. Let's let's uh, flatten this a little bit here. Maybe even there as well. This one we want to go that way. Let's have this one. Can I please just the yeah yep good ah nice perfect. We want to put these guys to have uh, signals going in and out. Um, okay, move this one there instead, remove this guy that way. All right. And now we have our line of, um, well, our line of sight, I suppose, for how we want to get over here. Now I'm thinking I would really like to get the side track, maybe going this way. So let's start building this. We want to have this between these two structures like this thinking yeah 
Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I don't want it to intersect either of those two places. So let's get this going <clears throat> so we can establish a meeting point between these two railroads. I'm learning to use hotkeys, by the way. It's really good. <laughs> it's very exciting. Oh, and here we are. We are right here. <clears throat> now, we could do a tunnel, I'm thinking, until we get to sort of a manageable spot. Maybe like here. These are going this way. And I would like them to land on this structure, maybe. Or should I have that go downward? I don't know. I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it upward. All right. Let's find our line here. I love this. It's so easy to just get your line, and and it works, and it's lovely. Now we are definitely going to want a place where this train can turn up and go on this thing. So I don't want the tunnel to be too long. Um, in fact, we may just make it even even a little bit shorter there. I think that's probably enough space. And that's also not a terribly long tunnel. It's, it's well, it's kind of pushing it. It's considering you can't have any signals within the tunnel. So there we are. This is what we want, I believe. Stone tunnel, yep. Boom, okay. There we go, nice, okay. Right now we get to do the fun business of constructing a um, a loop here, and I think the best thing to do. I don't know if it's the best thing. It is a thing to do. We need to. I think it would be useful if we put these guys on the lower level. Oopsies. Let's get this guy that way, and we could even lower this one. Maybe that's a better idea. Or we could raise this one. That's another thing we can do. Maybe it's better to raise that for now. And um, we also need to get this one sorted out. There we go. That's the easiest way to make a thing. You need to have um, the, uh, the what you might call them, the slope for the tracks to be non-rocky. As you can see, this is a rock texture. It's a gray one. If you look in, in uh, the live mode, it's very rocky. It's like, yo, do not try to put a train track here. This is not going to work for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our, um, our, our bridge over here. Let's go and connect these guys. Do we have a, oh, the wooden bridge. Hello. It no longer requires tokens. I remember reading about this in the builds in the um, Roshinki Discord. This is pretty cool. Okay, the limit is 50 miles an hour, or we could go stone. Could go. You know what? I'm going to go wooden just because we've never seen one. This is really cool. It's like a wooden trestle. Cool. That's lovely. All right, we're going to. This one of those. <laughs> I used to do this in Railroad Tycoon. Um, just build bridges for the sake of looking at the different bridges, and I love the way the um, the uh, the computer it had the, the way they constructed them essentially, where um, they would uh, the steel bridges were fun. They would lay each little piece and whatnot. It was very cool. Anyway, <clears throat> enough reminiscing about silly things. Um, right, I want to get. Ooh. This is going to be interesting to get the uh, the loops and stuff done here. It's okay though. We're going to be fine. Um, oh, let's see how this looks. Oh, I wanted to look how it was with the tracks underneath it. That's what I was going for here. Bridge is too close. Oh no. Really? If I had a stone bridge, would that work? I want to see this now. I'm going to test this because I thought that's the right height. <clears throat> but maybe I'm one height off. That could be two. <clears throat> Let's test this out. A stone. I might be one off. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's too short. Right. We're going to have to rethink this then. That's fine though. We're okay. We're good. We'll just make this higher. I need to remove probably this as well. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I don't want to change this elevation too much because of stuff. Um, right, let's go one more. Up, 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 up. Is that right? We need to also make these higher so we can um, get that as a bigger ramp. Okay, let's see if this will work. We want to try our wooden bridges for funsies. Let's go. 
Okay, that actually looks better. Okay, there we go. Looks like it has some stuff underneath. Let's see if we can build underneath this thing. Yeah, okay. That would be perfect. Nice. We're gonna have wooden bridges here. Fantastic. Um, we'll have a pair of them. There we go. They are much cheaper than stone. And to be honest, in, in this kind of a cloverleaf design or partial cloverleaf, um, what's gonna... It, the trains are gonna slow down anyway, so I really don't think that 10 miles an hour is gonna affect them that much. Um, we'll see if it does or not. <laughs> I don't think it will. Uh, let me see. First, uh, we need to connect these lines around to where they need to go. Let's go here. I think we can do a partial curve there. Yes, we can. Right, so we can do this. Okay. All right, um, and this one needs to be connected there, like that. And this one needs to get sorted out. We do need to, let's remove some of this stuff here. Just doing it with the bulldozer because it's faster in many ways. How many squares do we need? One, one, two, three, four, five from the there. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna need these guys to be that way. Good, good, good. That's fine. We will see how this goes. We need to connect the clover loop loop end here. One thing there. There we go. Okay looking pretty good and this one is gonna go that way but I'm gonna have to figure out how we want this connection to happen so this one can go on this road and we also need it to go on that road so I'm wondering if I should I could raise the land here maybe I'm thinking about having it come like this way Let's see if this will work the way I think it or I want it to. We will check. Um, let's get our leveling thing because the game is extremely forgiving. Does this work? Oh my god, game loves me. <laughs> game loves all of us. This, this here, this is beautiful. Um, because I don't have to go weird up and downs, the game is forgiving, it's allowing- I love that feature of this game. I love it because I, it used to drive me crazy, like in Transport Tycoon and stuff like that. So, anyway, this is- this is a good thing. Um, this, however, may also be a problem. I don't know. Um, do we need- however, we may not need this connection because the sawmill is going to be outputting to this road. We could put this somewhere like on this area instead of right here. It doesn't have to be there. Um, and I'm thinking that might be a good, a good thing that it's not there specifically. Uh, let's get this going a little bit further. How do we like this thing? This is looking pretty good so far. I'm quite, quite happy about this. Um, this one goes that way, this one can go that way, goes this way. If this one wants to go to this side though, that's our, we need to, oh, oh, it is going to that side, haha. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm just kind of checking every little thing that we need to go from this side, can go that way. This one can go that way to return to that side. Perfect, I think this is good. All right, so how should we do this? Um, we also have here our iron ore mine over there that we need to get connected. Um, and this is doing just fine. Oh, this is going quite swimmingly. I'm quite happy about this actually. Um, right, we should start off. You know what we could do? We could move, we could change the landscape here and put the sawmill station over here instead. It doesn't have to be on this side because this side is already crowded with stuffs. So I'm thinking we'll put it, put the station this side um, and get the, ah, yes, 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 that's what we want. Right, okay, we're good. We are sorted now. We have decided to be sorted and sorting has happened. Right, Let's see, I wanna get these guys flattened a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a directed station. I'm going to have the log wait train bringing the logs waiting um, on this, the inner side. And the outer one is going to go straight into 
this um, station that we have for the tool works. So let's go ahead and add that up here. Let's go this way. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be our, our log station. <laughs> the only thing that we do need, we do need a turning radius. Let's get our turning radius here. Get our other turning radius here. Uh, since we don't have chain signals, we need to have separate places where they can wait. Um, that's a, a long radius as it is, or a long uh, line where they could wait. How much parking do we need? We probably don't even need that much parking, I'm thinking. These are six squares long. I'm just kind of like looking at this at the moment. Could we do... Oh my goodness, that's sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Don't do, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, don't don't even look, that was awful. Um, could do something like that. We could just have them wait here. I think that might be long enough, or should we just extend them a little bit? <laughs> the thing is, we could extend them like this, but I'm worried about this inner one. one. Two-ish, three, four, five, six. All right, we're gonna extend this a little bit. And we'll just do this kind of thing. I don't think this is gonna be a highly trafficked train station. So I think we should be okay if we do this kind of thing and have the waiting here. So we can have two trains in here, should we desire to do so. There's a hot key for um, this is R, which makes perfect sense. And signals are F. Okay, cool. Right, so this is kind of what, what I'm thinking right there. Um, we also need to have a crossing there. Um, and I think that should be it. Okay, let's have this one going that way, breaking off this block. Yeah, I think that's gonna work fairly well. Now, this one, this part of the station will never need to go this way. This is gonna be reserved for our lumber train only to go and get lumber tokens. This one, however, can join, rejoin the main line down here, like this. That's what we want here. Okay, that's really nice. I'm liking this so far. Okay, cool. We'll signal the rest of this in just a second. Okay, so this is gonna go there. Life is going to be better. I hope life is gonna be better. <laughs> it should be good. Um, and then we can take these um, lines down to the iron ore mine, uh, which I think will be also much better. Let's uh, flatten this land over here a little bit. Do it like this. Get our station plonked down. There we go. And flatten this one a little bit, right? And then this one just basically comes from there. You don't need anything else to go there. There we are. <clears throat> and this one will just go back along that same route. Do we wanna do any fancy shenanigans like bridges here? I don't think so. I think we should be just fine the way this is. Okay, let's get our um, signals placed here. And that one will go this way. Have another just breaking up the blocks a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, alternatively, of course, we could um, we could make a bridge just to not interrupt this entire thing. We could do the bridge kind of around this area, go across that way and go along along that way. The question is, is it worth it for like one iron train and then two trains going this way? I think it's not worth it. If if it becomes worth it, um, we can we can do that. But I think it's not at the moment. All right, let's get our these signals in place. Break up the block in the center. We cannot have them under the bridge, so we'll just kind of put them a little bit like there is good. Get these guys going this way, these guys that way. And, um, oh, that's wrong. This one's the wrong side. Okay. Have waiting, waiting. 
break the block, bong, bong. Before tunnel, very important. And we have the after tunnel as well. Okay, this is looking really, really nice. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm excited about this. This is gonna work really, really well. All right, so we have our lumber things. We've got iron. Now we just need our, we can get our forest and coal mine set up here. Now the question is, we probably should extend this this way. Just make this flat for easy track construction here. <clears throat> and, uh, and let that go. I think we probably want to, we want to break off here somehow for this coal station. Um, let's go further like this and go around like that. We'll just extend this this way. Uh, oh, no, we cannot do that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Because it's downsloped. Okay. I didn't notice that. That's my fault. Let's just see how this is going to work. All right. Let's take this track this way. Now, this is not going to be technically close enough uh, for stuff. Let's bulldoze. What is this? Q. Oh, Q. That's a good. I like that hotkey. That's cool. Take that out. Gonna get our train station, which I don't know the number for that one. It's V. Okay. V is interesting. Don't know what V is for, but it's okay. Okay, let's get our track here. And this thing doesn't technically cover this. However, what we can do is we can buy a platform, which is a super easy way. Oh, it does. Does this cover? I don't think it does. No, it does with the, the platform. So we're going to buy, we're going to be cheaty and buy a little platform here just to grab this coal mine. It's not cheaty, cheaty. It's just, it's okay. But anyway, it's, um, we'll put that one there. Now we also have the foundry, which is going to have to connect to all of this as well. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff to connect right now. Um, okay. Let's get this forest as well sorted out. Um, how much is this? The total turning radius for track to track is one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So if we have this one, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. We can put this one here very easily without it getting upset about anything. This one will happily connect up this way. I think just go straight diagonal, remove all these little bits in between. Um, cause I don't think we're going to need them. I think we're going to be just fine. Um, Oh, 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 even better. We could go up this way and then go that way out. Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to have to be a train track crossing at some point anyway. All right, let's get this going. Um, get the terrain molded satisfactorily. There we go. Oh, that's lovely so far. Lovely, lovely. This one is going to have to cross here, I think. It would have, we would have to have a crossing of some variety. So this is okay for now, for now. This is just fine. Let's signal this perhaps. There we go. Out and go here. Right. That's looking pretty good. We'll signal this middle area after we connect the foundry, which <clears throat> we definitely need to do. So I think, hmm, <clears throat> we might have to have another clover loop ish kind of uh, situation going on here. Do we want to do it on a hill? I think it doesn't matter. We could save a little bit of money if we did it on a hill, possibly. Um, let's, let's just go ahead and do that then. We can get this to be here. Or do we want that? Th I, not that high. I think not that high is would be not good. Okay. Let's, um, we need to have maybe a three wide station, I'm thinking, or do we need it to be two? I'm thinking we'll need one for the steel pickup, which is going to be a waiting train. Um, and then the other is going to be for the drop-offs of coal and iron ore. But do we need three platforms for that? Not really, I guess, but we could, well, let's add it anyway. We'll have it anyway. 
Let's take this. There are three bits. Is that six squares? It is. It's. I like how it's in tens, so you can easily see. Aha, yes, this is six squares. This needs to go flat. Um, but I think we're going to share a parking lot for um, iron and coal. Uh, and then, well, I don't know if we can do that. Hold on. All right, let's see. The inner is going to be for the steel, I think, to get out. Okay, and then the outer, I don't think we really need both of these, to be honest. It's a small station anyway. Let's just delete this entire thing. Oopsies. What is it? Q? Q. All right, Q. There we go. Q, we're making use of you. Um, and C, we're also going to make use of you as well. Okay. This way. No sense in dragging it out. I want to have uh, separate. Do I want to have separate parking lots? Do I care? I don't think we need separate parking lots. I think we just need separate entrances. I think that'll be. Um, no, we should have separate parking. We should have separate parking. Okay. It'll be fine. I'm just trying to think about ways to do this um, that are going to work. All right, let's get this guy here. We need to have our six there and uh, clear this as well. I don't think we're going to have that many trains because if you think about it, the station can hold one and then we can have two, three in the parking lot, possibly maybe one waiting for goods uh, elsewhere. We can also extend this entire thing quite easily uh, if we want to. Okay, so this is going to go this way. That's going to go that way. That's not going to work that way. Right. I kind of knew that. I should have extended um, or moved this. I should move this, actually, to this kind of way. And just have them kind of come down on their own like this. I need to have this one go that way and have a little branch like this so that we can select a waypoint for the further um, parking stations. I think that's looking okay for now. All right, let us then smooth this out a little bit so we can have our return um, area going on. Nice. Boom. This will be coming this way. So now, in fact, I should, if we're going to go for another cloverleaf kind of design, we may even want to bring these both closer together and put them down the center here, like that. That probably would be very useful. Okay, so let's just mark that out and bring these guys closer like this. Okay, and then R for removal and Q for bulldoze. There we go. Q, Q, Q. No. R. That's what I want. Perfect. Oh, hello. I didn't want that. Oh, no. aha. There we go. Much better. Removal. Boom, boom, boom. No. It's interesting. It's taking quite a chunk of some of these bits, um, which is, is funky. Now, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do kind of something like this again, I think, where we're going to get our terrain raised. I think we'll have to go two, right? Too high. Mm -hmm. And then the same on this side. Two, three. Yep, one more. I did count correctly. Nice. Um, we definitely need this guy sorted. Oh, I didn't do that right. I need one more slope. So we'll raise this bottom area, just one. Okay, and I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, now this is our steel place. We're going to have a suitable bridge for here. I'd like to go with the stone probably here, just for fun. Okay, there we are. Get these guys connected up <clears throat> and then make sure that we can get everything to its destination. 
All right, we have a fairly unusual situation here in that we can't really do a traditional clover loop because uh, this, the directions here are not the same as on the areas below. So we're gonna have this one going that way, um, but this one comes out. And so we're gonna have to just kind of like hand tune our loops um, to be usable in that way. All right, we're gonna go, this one comes out. Just mark it for ourselves right now so it's easy for us to understand. So for example, the goods coming from the right-hand side are gonna to wanna to come up and join this one. Okay, let's go with a, something like this. Ooh, I don't know if that's too far. That might be too far. Let's just do this like that. Uh, all right, let's get our loop this way. And we'll join this up like that. Okay, that's one thing connected. Uh, we can also connect this station to that as well. All right, now, um, do things need to go, they can go this way. All right, that's fine. We got all of the ones, the incomings connected to this one. Um, do we even need this bridge? I don't know if we even need this bridge, to be honest. Um, because they're going underneath... We could prob probably remove this whole thing and not care about it. We just need the one bridge. Oops, no, okay, perfect, got the right one. This one, however, we do need this one to um, get sorted out. So let's uh, get our thing here. And that one can go out in that direction there. Okay, so let's see. Goods from here come in here um, and then go around this way. Now goods from this station do not need to go there. These are only going to go under the bridge and go this way. We have iron coming from this way, goes to the station. Yep, this station outputs to just the main road. Ah, but it does also need to go to the coal mine. So we need to build some kind of a thing here. And I think we can remove these signals there and place them on this side instead um, and get our track from here. Aha. Oh, we can do that as well. Look at that, isn't that nice? Perfect. Okay, so this one can go around because we need the coal mine um, train to get that way as well. So we have kind of an unusual little construction here, but it works and this is exactly what we need. This is not gonna be a major thoroughfare so far as we can tell. Um, so that's important to kind of note and build kind of to what you have slash need. Okay, that also goes that way. This goes that way, okay. Let's just finish the signaling here uh, on these various areas. That one goes that way. This one here. This one can go there and then we'll mark off each of these parking spaces. There we go. That one goes here and there before they join up. And the station also needs to be marked. And I don't know, here's a good spot, I guess. That's just fine. Right, let's mark this one. Getting off of this little side thing. Okay, that one's going along there. Mark the station. Make sure we have that as a separate block. All right, and then this one has got these nice blocks going that way. All right, it's looking pretty good. So. We want to trace the route. If we get steel from here, we can turn it around, goes this way and goes that way. From here, it comes out back this way, turns to the right and then goes back up here. Okay, I think we have stuff sorted out now. Um, things are, are flowing along now. We just need to get the trains, but I think we're going to save the trains to the next episode because that's going to take a little while to set up. So um, let's look at this in live mode. Wow, this is very cool. I love how all the like the little products leap into the stations. Um, so we didn't we didn't actually get any trains done this this episode. We didn't get to hear the magnificent choo choo. We have built this magnificent structure and we will populate it with trains for the next video. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.